goldsmiths, breeding ground for the contemporary art styles of the future. Roisin likes to steal. Her degree piece is a rhododendron lifted from a work by Turner Prize winner Simon Starling. She got the prize for the best degree show work. I shoplift things, uh, I swallow them, and then I ship them out and present them <laughs> as art objects. So I just steal everything. So therefore I don't have to work to maintain my artistic practice. I don't have to be focused primarily on creating original artwork. Um, I just steal stuff. So what are you working on? Uh, this is going to be like a rock, kind of, well, a lamp. I think those are really pointless, all those over there. Really pointless. It's like, fuck, that's just a waste of time. A student two years ago came in drinking a bottle of wine, and we don't normally have alcohol in seminars. And then she got up on the table, lowered her shorts, and did a big shit into um, a big um, glass bottle with a lot of grunting and groaning and stuff, and then put a lid on the, on the bottle and sprayed it gold. It's funny with art, like I know that somebody who actually works like physical labor, uh, you know, it's like a builder would, would just laugh, you know, they would just find this incredibly funny, like here's this guy moving shells around a room and he's exhausted, but it is, it's exhausting, it's just, um, yeah, it's a, the decision-making process for me just kind of, it, it wipes me out. What has your room been? Oh, I'm a failure. So I wanted, a, <laughs> I wanted to be an artist and I started teaching so I could live and continue to make the art that I was making, which didn't sell. I actually feel sorry for the ones who are standing around who've done really good shows and no one's, no one, I mean, tractors aren't interested in them and they're great shows and like, they're standing there thinking, shit, I'm in debt and I've got £15,000 to pay back and no one's giving me any money. Yeah.